Hey everyone, welcome back to the video today. Um, I'm going to be showcasing all my animals. So, this is my 29 gallon aquarium. Um, I have a video of this tank in the description on my channel. So, go check it out. Um, yeah, fish are doing great. Just need to take out this pleco, which is overgrown. Put in my pond, and yeah, our plants are doing well. Got a new light. Yeah, this plant right here is taking over, like the other tank. Yeah, the water was draining. Yeah, also got new um, just one for you. Also, my aquatic salamanders doing well. Um, one is in there, that plant, you guys can kind of see that one, yeah, hmm. this is the Chiller Creek Terrarium, where Alex lives, The bromelia doing well. This is a UVB bulb. 10.0. Actually, 5.0. Full light, full tropical. Moss doing well. Also, this cage. That's a secret. That will be in a few videos. Let's go to 55 gallon polyurethane. And yeah, add another filter. Turn the water clean. Um, add this plant. Need this. Moth thing though, and the succulent. Doing pretty good. Might get a water dragon or a. I might put the sal a salamander in here or a frog. So comment down below. What should I put in here? Remember, this is this is almost like a low over the water arboreal space. So you can kind of see it's got an arboreal feel. A lot of branches. Yeah. So comment down below. What should I get for this? I know. Right here we have Chubby, the, fro the frog. I know the lights are not on right now, but yeah. This is Tink. Um, I feed him at night. He's nocturnal. Okay, guys, this is a new thing. So, this is a new shrimp tank. 2.5 gallon aquarium. Planted aquarium with sand. So, we're getting some shrimp next week. Pretty sure I'm making a video about that. So, yeah, that's that aquarium. And, yeah, that is basically all we need to go over. And also, new addition, um, some ants. I got some queen ants. And don't worry, guys, I do some air in here every single day. And they, they just laid eggs. And comment down below how long it takes for them to hatch. Um, I'll put them to another enclosure when they hatch. And for now, I'll have a little bit of sand. And, by the way, this is behind my aquarium. So, then I've got some fire ant queens here to let in air every day, of course. So, yeah. This is basically the end of this video. So, hope you guys enjoy this. Bye-bye.